Hi everybody, today we are going to be playing some Cthulhu. And we are up against a Fenrir. Um, I don't think I've had this matchup before. I I don't know how it will go. I can ult, which means he won't be able to ult me for the entire duration because I'm CC. That is a lot of stars. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, and also his Broodlize is going to be super good against me whenever my three is down. Uh, I'm going to go Vampirics. And we are going to pray this guy does not destroy me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I thought we would pick Cthulhu because some people in the comments were saying, hey, you haven't picked Cthulhu yet, so we're going to do that. I also plan on still playing, you know, Ardeo, Kepri, uh, possibly Terra, Yamoja. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to get a little bit of gameplay of all the Guardians I enjoy, but uh, just prioritizing them uh, based on which ones I feel like playing, you know. I, that's the way of going about the full gameplays now. I used to try to be kind of systematic with it, make sure I get everybody, but... I'm just trying to do it the way I enjoy, because if it's the way I enjoy, then, I mean, I feel like the videos are a lot better, you know? It doesn't feel forced. Man, this Fender has a lot of stars. That scares me. I don't know if we should be doing double buff on Cthulhu, but at the same time, I want to make sure I have control of some buffs, because otherwise he's going to, uh... You know, he's going to be taking all the buffs in the game, and that's a bad idea. My goodness. Alright, we're both level 4. Gonna stay a little bit back because I don't want him to stun me. I can stun his brood lies, keep that in mind. I don't like playing back, but uh, against Fenrir when he has red buff, it's a little bit scary. He does have meditation. Should kill those minions. Yep. We're going to go take our speed buff. Uh, looks like he started Cowl into uh, Tier 1 Genjis. So he, he's rushing that defense. Good to know. If he's rushing defense, it might be worth us rushing defense too. Uh, just so that he doesn't have a... You know, he's not outboxing us. If we do get defense, a Breastplate of Valor sounds pretty good here. We need the cooldown. Cthulhu relies on cooldown. Very much so. Okay, I really didn't want him to realize me there. That's why I used everything. That was pretty scary. I honestly should have left after taking speed. But we didn't die, and that's what matters. I'm just going to finish my Bancrofts. We'll finish our Bancrofts, then I'll get my defense. It could even go... We could even go Typhon. Uh, because this does have life steal as well. It's only 5%, but when we upgrade it... Uh, probably going to upgrade it into the one that heals percent health and percent mana. Cthulhu has a very high health pool, which is great. Uh, and if Fenrir goes an auto attack build with Chin Size, ooh, that'd be kind of scary. He's most likely to go uh, Heart Seeker, though. That's what's most likely to happen. I'm trying to, like, hit him with my, my autos that apply uh, passive to him while also staying out of range of his scary stuff. Because I do not want to get stunned. Okay, his ult is probably up now. Now-ish, so we want to be careful. If he ults us, I don't want to go in his tower. Because I, right now I can't counter ult or anything like that. That's what he's wanting. That's why he's playing farther back, even though he has plenty of damage. He wants to bait me into his tower. But no, nope, not happening. Not until at least I have my ult so I can do something about it. 
Oh wow, my ult didn't go off. We did not use our three there because we needed our three to stop his brutalize. Because let's say I use my three and then he brutalized me, that would have been very bad. Would have been a lot of damage. We might be able to kill him here. Perhaps. Depends on if he stays. Looks doesn't look like he's staying. Gonna stop his back. That's good. Now he's gonna miss out on an entire minion wave. Not only is he gonna miss out on all those minions, but he's gonna he's gonna be late to buffs, I think. Or maybe around the same time as us. Alright, let's get that tier one breastplate going. That'll help us a lot. And now I feel a little bit safer when it comes to fighting him. So I was playing a little bit, you know, a little bit further back. Uh, just because I was worried about his his damage, his ultimate. And now that we've got full bank cross, we can fight him. Plus, I've got tier 1 defense. And that should help mitigate a good chunk of his damage. Uh, considering he rushed defense himself. Hmm. I don't really know what else he's going to go yet. Most likely a heart seeker at some point with brawlers. I really need to play a god where I can rush Spear of the Mages. I think I'll do that on RDO when I record that gameplay. I want to see how good it is. I don't I don't know about on Cthulhu. We have always been watching. Nope. He's going crit? He's going crit? What? Is that a proper item I just witnessed? It appears so. Oh, he missed. Nice. Well, it didn't go off again. I don't know why this keeps happening. He missed his brood lies, but even if he didn't, I could have cancelled it. He's still very tanky. Yeah, if he's going crit, I feel like that is bad for him. Alright, we're gonna try to kill him here. Ooh, nice dodge with the brood lies. You can't chase him any more than that. Alright, I tried to chase him, but I cannot. Ooh, we can take his speed. Which. He apparently took the buff of speed, but never actually took the minis, I guess. This is very strange. This is very strange indeed. Eight-pointed shuriken. Now, I, don't, I really don't have a... I don't see Fenrir going crit very often. When Fenrir came out, he could actually crit on his brutalize. It was busted. For those that didn't know a long long time ago imagine if that was still a thing where he could crit on his grid lies he is, does seem to be going auto attack though which again if he goes uh chin size that could be scary also i just realized even though he stunned me on my two there i still got the final hit of it which is really good i don't know why he canceled that he probably expected me to dash, but my dash wasn't ready yet. Alright, let's go. What could be happening too is, I obviously do not know this player, but sometimes if you play a god and only that god, nothing but that god, you have a hard time learning other god's kits. Maybe he doesn't know Cthulhu's kit. That is a possibility. Uh, I'm going to go into a, huh, maybe a Typhons. Great Sunder. Bank Ross with Typhons just gives a huge power spike. You're basically at the lifesteal cap at that point, but that's okay. The amount of power it gives is super worth. Oh. 
We'll probably need to upgrade our beads at some point, too. Oh, that's what he was building to. Shadow Steel? Oh, he wanted the extra anti-heal. Oh, in that case, uh, I'm not going to finish uh, Typhons. Because he's probably going to go Shadow Steel with... Oh, my ult did go off again. He's going to go Shadow Steel with Brawlers, which will be 80% anti-heal. That's a lot. Ooh, nice juke around. Good damage. Ah, he stunned me. That's all right. Oh, wait. No, we're not going to finish this. Especially if he's if he has went shadow still first time, I assume I can only assume he's going brawlers too. Why wouldn't you just go straight into brawlers, right? I mean, either way, why wouldn't you go straight into brawlers? I don't know. Uh, I think I kind of want max cooldown here. Max cooldown could be great. Still winning, even though that that was first blood, ten minute first blood, kind of a long time. He took my red buff. That is all right. He also has double chalice, which means I know he can't have any wards on the map, so I can kind of go around the jungle feeling fine if he hasn't seen me. his frenzy i don't see i i can't say i see frenzy too often in duel uh, i build it on overrun as a meme sometimes you should have brutalized me there i think i have no way to cancel it Very strange indeed. He's also healing quite a bit too. Yeah, he's getting devos. This is the most interesting Fedra build I have seen. But the dude has more stars than I have on Ymir. Uh, like my top five guys, gods combined. So can I really say I know better? Right? We need Divine Ruin. We need Divine Ruin now. He's actually coming back pretty hard. Still gonna finish uh, Chrono Spin it, but uh, we do need to prioritize Divine Ruin as our next item. Yeah, I can't really judge his Fenrir build if he has that big star, right? Surely it's worked wonders for him. Like, it's, it has to have. Uh, my beads are still down, so you could probably alt into his Phoenix if you wanted. That's the only reason I can't play more aggressive. Yeah, I have to pack up. We can go get our speed buff. Is that a Blood Forge? Blood Forge gives 10 more power than Devos when it's Devos fully stacked, but it gives a lot less life still. And passive is not useful in duel unless you're like. Unless you're like playing hyper aggressive and you're getting kills on the tower and the shield saves you. And even then, I don't really recommend it. Over Devos, the life still is generally better. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll take your ult, man. Is 
chasing me. Like I said, if he plays hyper aggressive. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. I'm gonna predict him. I try to. Yeah, he's out of my range, so I couldn't really kill him. Still can't kill him. We're almost level 20 for upgrading our item. That'll give us more sustain too. And he, what do you know? He's not going brawlers. Uh, I cannot predict this Fender's build. I cannot predict this Fender's build, man. It's the it's the craziest Fender build I've ever seen. Shoguns into Shadow Steel with Blood Forge, and I don't know if that's gonna be a stone cutting. I don't know if it's gonna be a serrated, maybe serrated perhaps. Rated would make sense because if he's going life still, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a hasten katana because I've never seen hasten katana Fedra. But honestly, at this point, it doesn't surprise me. That's why I said it earlier. Is that likely to happen? Probably not, but who knows? Man, he's actually really tanky for only having one defense item. I can use my beats on that. Look at his like health bar. Yeah, no, I'm out. I'm out, my dude. I'm out, man. We need to finish this divine. Saw awards. There we go. I actually need more life still than what I currently have to. What? He took that like four autos. <laughs> what? Okay, Fedra. I have drastically underestimated you because of your build, but I cannot do that any longer. What on earth is happening? I I need a contagion too. Don't forget, Fenris 2 gives life still as well. Those crits are lucky, good sir. Man, that mobility helps him so much, too. This is crazy. That frenzy helped him take the tower, like, instantly. Oh my goodness. I think it's a combination of his mobility being so good and just, I don't know, just extremely high power with no pen. Yeah, I need a contagion because at this point he's healing way too much. He did get Hazen Katana. Oh my god, that is getting more crit. We go Spectral or uh, Contagion. Either one works here. Normally don't like going double defense, but against a crit build, it's kind of necessary. Either with the spectral or... It's a crit lifestyle build. It's just so weird to me, man. He's healing so much, too. Oh, we, should, we should not go for this. He's actually very dangerous to fight right now. Because he has lifestyle from this, he has lifestyle from this, he has lifestyle from his two. Oh, man. You got a hasten katana, man. You actually did. Never in a thousand years would I predict this better build. I underestimated him so much because of what he was building. I, like, just didn't think he would be able to do anything with it. And all of a sudden, my phoenix dies almost instantly. Let's back up. Uh, yeah, so now we'll have 60% anti-heal. That should be enough to fight him. 
Um, he's a little bit worried about his crits, but he has no penetration in his build. Like, you gotta build pen. If he had pen, I don't think I would build double defense, right? I'm just I'm trying to basically counter his build, force him to build some pen, and then maybe I could sell a defense item for more power or something like that, you know what I mean? He hasn't upgraded his starter item yet either. He just popped his frenzy, but he wasn't even attacking me. We're not gonna use our beats. Look at that mobility, man. He tried going straight for my Phoenix. He got it. But I killed him. Yeah, he's going straight for my Phoenix. All right, let's push. This is so weird, man. He took that so fast. Even though I stunned him, man. He still got it, like, almost instantly. He's dead. He's alive in 20 seconds. I don't even know if I can take this. Luckily, my beads are up. I can't even take this. We need a ward in case he decides to chase me. Yep, he is absolutely chasing me. So we do not get caught out. If I had, if I didn't have that ward, all right, never mind, we're good. Oh wait, he's not even. This isn't even up. <laughs> never mind. Let's upgrade this. Man, I'm so so surprised he went shadow steel without a brawlers on Fenrir when brawlers is just so good on Fenrir. Just everything about this game, I probably might need a spectral. Uh, could sell a breastplate for it, honestly, when it comes to late game. We're about to be over Captain Cooldown once I get Power Potion. This is such a weird game. Okay. Uh, what is he going now? What did he sell? He sold Blood Forge. He still has a lot of life still. So I don't think it's worth selling Divine, but I can swap Contagion out for a uh, Shadow Steel. Okay, cool. I think we should save our ult for when he's really low. Because, like, I was so tempted to ult there, but he would have just gotten away anyways, right? So what's the point? It's kind of what I, what I think. Oh, this is down too? Okay. We are officially overcapped on cooldown. It is definitely worth swapping something out for a spectral at this point to counter counter him. Either our breastplate or our other stuff. Or our contagion. Like he still has pretty good life still. Just because of his two and his uh this cowl. So I think it's worth keeping. Man, all these trees and stuff keep getting in my way. Let's place a ward in case he tries backdoor. My phoenix is coming up pretty soon. He's God, dude. He's God. That fight was going pretty badly, but then it started going a little bit well.
I can't even do anything with this because he's already back. Upgrade our beads. I'm going to sell. He got serrated, so I'm instead going to sell this for spectral. Okay, so he has quite a bit of life still. How much life still does he have? He has 28% life still. That not including when he uses his two. Oh, he's going to backdoor my phoenix. <laughs> what is happening, man? What is happening? You might see I have Spectral and not want to fight me, or he might not notice. That's his Frenzy. If I ever call Frenzy Girdle, by the way, I'm sorry. It's just that's what it used to be called. He's out, dude. This is not... There we go. I was going to say this isn't very interesting, and then he turned around. Which made it slightly more interesting. There we go. Our Phoenix is down again. But at least we can push, man. A little bit. Maybe not even. No. Not with his respawn timer. Plus my beads are down again. I can sell Bancroft for Typhons, by the way, if I want. I really don't have that much pen, but he doesn't have that much defense. Okay, come on. I'm tempted to commit for this, but... Uh, is it worth dying? Gang Phoenix could be huge. Uh, once he brutalizes me, I need to use my one on him. There we go. I'll say that was kind of going well for me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sell this for Typhons. Mostly because it gives increased life still to counteract his shadow steal. Uh, we're sacrificing a lot of power, but it works with the life steal from Blood Soaked too. But it's also because of the 10% pen. It's kind of like sacrificing... A little bit of the, well, a lot of bit of Bancroft's power for just a little bit more sustain in a way, while also maintaining, uh, gaining some penetration. That way we do more damage. I would not put it past him if to backdoor me, so. So gotta be a little bit careful of that. We want to fight in minions because then I'll be healing more HP. Yeah, he has Toxic Blade now, but I mean, I think getting the Typhons was a good idea. Oh, he sold all of his crit. What the? What is going on, man? He sold all of his crit. He sold, uh, I thought he was hitting me with Toxic Blade and Shadow Steel. <laughs> I don't even know what to title this video, man. You cannot predict what this federal build. I don't know, man. Oh, my power potion just ran out. We do not want to fight. Maybe like a little bit, but only if he's fighting me in fire minutes. God, do you see his healing? Do you see his health bar? He's back to full health. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, so now he has even more life still because he got Aussie. Let's also get Chalice. That might help us a little bit. Should have gotten it earlier, but Chalice is still worth it in the late game. Just for the fights. Whoo, lad. I'm tempted to just push up. Uh, we'll just see what happens. The only more life still I can get is, uh, Aussie.
Toxic Blade is the only other at, uh, or excuse me, not life still, anti heal. I'm getting all my terms mixed up. He always pops his fed, uh, Fredzia that even like, even though I obviously back off because it's better for me, he can fight me. Like he can chase, but then he does it. It all, it confuses me so much. I'm about to get full Cthulhu passive, man. I completely forgot about Phoenix, so that went well for me. Okay. Is he going to swap another item? I'm not swapping any more items. I'm getting my 3k pot at this point. That is what will help me the most. Backing when I'm like almost full health of mana doesn't really make sense right now. But I mean, I still think wards are useful. Especially because he, he went around for the back door once and then I was waiting for him. I don't know if he does that again. God, I can't see anything in that archway. Look at that life bar! I have divine root and contagion applied to him. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what is happening? Do I need Toxic Blade? It's like the Death's Embrace times, man. All right, we're focusing uh, Titan here, which is good. <gasps> Uh-oh. There we go. Dude, that was so weird. I, the only reason we killed Titan so fast is because that was, like, a lot of minions. A lot, a lot of minions. That has to be, without a doubt, one of the strangest duel matches I've played in a while. Uh, Fender started out with... Shurikens or Shadow Steel, and then he built into uh, I, ca I can't even remember. Uh, he went into Blood Forge in a duel, and then Hasten Katana, and then Deathbringer on Fenrir, and then he swapped out Shadow Steel for Toxic Blade, and swapped out Deathbringer for Aussie. And look, he even swapped out his starter item for Pestilence because he realized his lifesteal build wasn't working anymore. So it was just so strange. I think if he stuck to one build, like a pretty, like a standard Fender build, he would have really beaten me because in a lot of fights he was doing exact everything he needed to. Uh, well, not not all, all of them, but a lot of them. And then also, I don't know. I just can't wrap my head around it. It's just, he has a lot of stars on Fender. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this game. I might try to get another Cthulhu game for you guys because this one was not standard at all. But, I mean, you can see how important counter building is. I mean, it kind of sucks that I went the double defense. But when your opponent goes crit uh, without pen, you kind of got to go for double defense and get the Spectra at some point. And that's kind of what I was doing. Once he got the, sh uh, the serrated, I could have uh, actually sold my Spectral for Rod of Tehuti since he sold his all of his crit. Uh, but, you know, I was trying to prioritize my 3k pot. Anyways, hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.